guys, welcome back to the Magnet Minute brought to you by Magnet Labs. My name is Amy and I'm your host. A while back, I casually brought up RSS feeds. It's come to my attention that I am a power user that does not elaborate, so I'm going to explain to you what those are. Let's start with what RSS means. RSS stands for really simple syndication. This is ultimately a different way of subscribing to a blog than email updates. When you use an RSS reader and share the RSS feed for a website you would like to subscribe to, it will syndicate all of the new publications on that website automatically. Quite simply, it is a great way to aggregate all the news that you're looking for without having to go to a bunch of sites or have to deal with a ton of emails. So you can stay on the pulse of what's happening and show all your friends how much you know. You might hear people say that RSS is dead, RSS is and dead. that could be true for some people because of social media, all these places where you can now follow a particular blog or brand, you're likely going to see what they publish. But if you're looking for one place that you can go and be able to check all the news that you're interested in without all of the noise of tweets and Facebook posts, then RSS is a really good option. Another reason why you will find that it's not quite dead yet is because if you go to a blog that you like to read frequently, they like likely do have RSS information there, so when you find that information, you're ultimately looking for the syndication feed for their blog. This looks very similar to a web address. As a matter of fact, it could be their own web address. But if you see something that says feeds.feedburner or something of that nature, that's also a valid web address for their RSS feed. In terms of picking an RSS reader that you can syndicate all of your news to, I prefer Google Reader. Many of us are already using Google products, so it's very easy to just start one because if you already have a Google account, it's just right there waiting for you. It's also very easy to categorize all your different websites, so if something's more breaking news or something else is like lifestyle or something is like business and marketing, you can separate them by tags, um, but they're more kind of like folders. And just like you would see on the website if you were there, there's tons of share buttons, so it's still easy to tweet out your favorite stuff or post it to Facebook and especially Google+. To import a new website or blog into your RSS reader, just click the subscribe button and import the RSS web address for that site. You'll know if it works right away because it usually will show you the last 10 posts that were posted to the site. And then all you have to do is come back and check throughout the day or whenever you like to read the news to see what the latest is on those websites. So there you go. That's my really simple explanation of really simple syndrome indication. You're welcome. Are you using RSS or do you prefer to check the news on social media? Do you like to go directly to the websites? Tell me. I'll be over on the tweets at Schmitastic and at Magnet Media Inc. If you want to see last week's episode, please do. It's about YouTube analytics. Very interesting stuff around here. And be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on the next Magnet Minute. For more great tips and resources, make sure you sign up for the Magnet Media Resource Center and newsletter at magnetmediafilms.com slash subscribe.